discussion among board members about the process that we use for reviewing the budget. So we decided to have this work session not to talk about the budget line items, uh, but I distributed them to you ahead of time so that you'd have an opportunity, if you chose, to kind of get a sense of what it is we're going to be looking at in the coming weeks. Um, before we have the discussion about how we want to proceed with looking at it. Um, in the past, I mean, there, there are a hundred different ways that people have come up with to do municipal budgets. Uh, and, and, and at times in the past, I'm informed that uh, the board was uh, painstaking about their review of the city budget line item by line item, department by department. And when I came here, uh, the board at the time expressed a desire to get away from that and then to have the city administrator work with department heads to come up with a budget proposal. Um, I didn't have to do it this time, but in the past, you know, they, uh, some department heads could kind of use the budget as their wish list. You know, I'd like to have this piece of equipment. I know, I, I know we can't afford it, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. And my job was to make sure that, that you didn't get presented with a budget that had a lot of things like that in it. Uh, this budget does not. Um, and, and, and the other approach is, or, or thought is, that if we just look at the budget, like what it was last year and what it is this year, and compare numbers to numbers, we really aren't talking about this board's priorities. We're just building on the past priorities. And so I heard some expression of this idea uh, uh, expressed about, let's talk about priorities. Let's at least review what we're doing and see if that's the way we want to continue to go. Uh, those are the kinds of conversations that this work session is designed to address. Um, the, I will tell you, however, There's, we don't have any fat because we don't, we don't have enough money to budget fat. Uh, and so any decision about changing priorities means you're going to do more of something in one area and less of something in another area unless you want to spend down your reserves. And, and I've expressed to you that the, the credit markets get the reports of our budget every year. And in the past, they have expressed a concern about the level of our reserve account. Uh, in fairness, I don't think they're looking at the whole thing. I look at, think they're only looking at the general fund. Uh, there are other reserves they don't necessarily pick up. But regardless, um, I don't think spending down your reserve is, is a wise thing to do, either for that reason or for the reason that you don't have your emergency funds. Except if something goes wrong, where are you going to get the money to fix it? Um, in, in, in you know major calamity uh, like a bridge washes out and uh, so uh, the amount of, of money that's available in the budget that's that you might call discretionary is is relatively minor unless you want to just stop doing something and and, and then take the money that we were using to do it and do something else uh, I caution you, and I do this every year, and I'm going to do it again this year, um, to avoid the tendency to look at last year's budget and what was spent or wasn't spent out of that budget and make adjustments going into the new year based on, on that. And, and, the, and, and the reason for that is that, number one, I think our department heads do uniformly a good job of monitoring their budget and trying to spend less than was budgeted. And in most cases, we do. But to then punish them for doing that creates a bad environment for next year's budget. Because next year, they're going to think, oh my gosh, I have to spend what was budgeted, or I'll never see that money again. So it, 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 I, I've seen that happen. And, 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 and I've talked to a few people in local government recently about that. And they said, absolutely, that's what's happened. That that, you know, that's what happens. Uh, 
So I trust the department heads that we have. I know you do. Uh, I think they're good stewards of the money and uh, that we give them, and they're responsible in, in their spending. I don't think anybody's making bad investment decisions. They usually come to me, and if I thought it was bad, I would say no. Uh, you know, it, we buy a few things we haven't had before, but the things that we buy are usually designed to reduce man hours and improve efficiency. Uh, and so I, I, I applaud them for that. And once again, uh, we, we, we shouldn't punish them for their frugality by cutting a budget because they didn't spend it last year. That said, how do you want to proceed with this? I mean, if there is a desire to do something different from what we've done for the last six years, what is it different that you'd like to do? Well, I'd like to comment, too. Uh, I got a, that uh, MML magazine, and I, I put in your, there's a very good article in that magazine uh, right up front. It's called Conflict Management for Local Officials. Have you all had time to review that? If you, you've looked at it in your packet? And it's, if you didn't, that's okay, but I, as you, I want you, when you're thinking about this and what, what, what this group does and determines what to do in the future for this city, I think you really need to look at, look at some of these topics, especially on the, there's about 12 bullet points that are very, very good for leadership. Uh, and I think you have to, we have to, and I'm not saying, but in the, how it was in the past, but I know as we go forward, you know, we're starting to look, I see, I, I, I can see in this city, in the short time I've been here recently and now is we, there's some progress. There's some things that are, that are out there that are out in front of us, maybe two, three years. Martin and I were talking about, you were talking about this, this national park, you know, I, I, everything I hear, Tim Good talks about it six to 12 months, you know, and everything I hear from them, what that means for the city, it's, it's going to be more tax dollars coming in, people coming in, spending more money. You got a water park within a year that's going to be boom. That's going to be out there. It's going to bring more people into the community. Those people are going to spend money. They're going to, and then we, we also have this learning center. Now I don't know when it's coming online, but that there's another one that's going to, that's going to add revenue to the city. And it's going to, this is going to get better. I think we're going to have more money to do more things, but it's, it's, it could be three to three years out. And, uh, and I just think, keep that in mind as we, as we look at this, because what we don't want to do is do something and have to and go backwards, you know, or this group decides to do something that goes backwards. And I know everybody on the front end of this, Hey, we have a problem with our police officers and we have to raise, we have to raise their pay. That's, that's real. I understand that. Uh, but what I don't want to do is, is is try to take this budget and do that because we're going to go backwards because we got to be very mindful that uh, we have a lot of valuable our valuable our assets are our customers which is our the people that we serve and our employees we got to take care of them we ha if, if that balance meme is not level you're going to have problems and we provide good service to our customers with our employees and and i i go with that what i've seen in the last year or so that I've been mayor is we have some very, very good employees all the way around from policemen to city workers to office people to, I mean, we've got some great employees and we also have some wonderful volunteers that, that work in this community that we are, should be very thankful for that don't get very much recognition, but they do a lot of hard work in this community to make this city look like it is. And I spent a lot of time in this city. Talking to people that come into this city, I'm pretty proud of this city, and I've got a lot of good feedback. I get a lot of good feedback from customer relationships that come into this city hall that people are feel that they're treated well. You know, and you're always going to have that one or two that you're not going to ever please, and some people you just can't do. But keep that in mind as we go forward, and and what and that's what I want to do because there was so much. What I seen last year was there's so many questions, and we we're kind of rushing through it. And let's take time to talk about it. If if there's Places where we need and you think that we don't need that anymore, let's talk about it. That's that's what and that's what I have to say. Is anybody else anything to offer? So Paul uh, with this national parks thing, I mean, do we have any idea what they're gonna expect of the city and what might cost us money with them? Uh, you know, I know they're looking for a place 
uh, pretty adamant, or the previous, or the, I guess the current director now, soon to be the ex-director, was very adamant about the fact that it needed to be on the square. Mm -hmm. And 3,000 square feet, which we have no idea why that's... But I mean, is there any expenditures that we should be looking at that... I, as far as that goes... He was pretty adamant yeah. the fact that if this thing fails, it's on us. Well, no, it's it's not on. It's they're adamant. It's on them. It's it's very much on them. That's what they don't. They're pumping how many million in? Well, sure, they're well, pumping. I, but yeah, they're they're going to be putting money in. But the, right. the base budget has been set. But the meetings that I've and Martin have attend to is it's what they expect and where, where they're going. And there's there's a lot of questions. I think we're going to be asked at some point in the near future to sign a memorandum of understanding, which will be the city's commitment to the National Park Service. Uh, as to what it is we're going to do uh, to support the National Park Service. My preliminary conversations with them, it has nothing to do with spending money. I mean, they're not going to obligate us to street improvements or anything. But they want to make sure that we continue to do what we have done that got the National Park Service here in the first place. <clears throat> they want a continued commitment to preserving our, our uh, archaeological and in architectural heritage is an example. They would hate to move here and have us disband the Heritage Commission and stop enforcing things. Uh, you know, they want us to continue to implement our zoning ordinances. So the, those are the kinds of commitments they're going to be looking for because it's been the commitment of the city in those areas that has captured the imagination of the National Park Service. Uh, and I think we're, you know, we're inclined to do those kinds of things. I don't think we plan to change any of that. I think one thing we're going to we're going to have to do is is as we go forward here, is more recreation for people. A family comes into this city, you know, and and simple. What I'm talking about is biking, hiking, trails, stuff like that. That was my next part of the yeah. of the thing and stuff with us, you know, not really looking seriously at these Corps of Engineer projects, uh, future ones and stuff. Are they expecting those? They're I not. Heard any discussion. They're, they're not. No. And when I and with with the levy board and there's been a lot of talk and was in the in the in meeting talking about that that levy. They're they're talking right now about and the levy board's talking about spending some money. They, they first of all they want to find out where that line is and where that levy needs to be, level it. And they've already done some leveling work on that levy. They've been doing some grading, and then taking that levy and putting some crushed rock on it and sort of getting that levy to the top of that levy like it's the Katy Trail. They're, they're talking about putting work and doing work to, to Division Street all the way from the fixing that road all the way out there to the levee. They're, they've got some funds to do that to improve that roadway and, and there's hopefully put a parking lot out there because the, the future plan is to, is to get people on top of that levee. And, and that's something for the future is, is we need to reconnect the city back to that river. People, that's one thing I hear is people, well, how can, where do I see the river? Where can I see the river? Well, they end up out there at the marina most times. At least now the eyesore is gone or up at the landing up there at the, up, uh, at the ferry landing up there to see the river. But uh, there are some possibilities to, so I can see we might spend some money doing that. But that would be something we need to do anyway. You know, because if you, Martin and I talked about if people come in to see the older buildings and, and well, there's got to be something else. Well, what else? Why would they want to come back? You know. That money is already allocated out of the capital improvement fund, not the budget. Right. Right. <coughs> Were you, did you have more? Or? Well, I, you know, I guess some stuff. So any core projects, we basically said no. No. The core has... And I think I emailed you the last, forwarded to you the last email I got from the Corps of Engineers. They've turned their final report in right. to Washington. And I don't know how long it takes to turn that around. But when we finally get that, it will identify the work that should they ever be funded, they will do. And our plan was to decide among those things that, that they might, might do, what is it we'd like to see done now rather than waiting for them to get funded, with the knowledge that should they ever get funded, then whatever, what we spend goes against our, uh, our match. So we know the trail or some iteration of the trail is in that report, uh, and if we wanted to go ahead and do that, then we could. 
and the cost of doing it would be counted against their future funding. And that's the decision we'll have to make. But that money, as Joe points out, is going to come out of the, what's called the Federal Levy Fund, uh, the Capital Improvement Fund. Uh, and, and, and we will calculate, based on their estimates, what the total expenditure would be. And either it's either 25 percent share or 50 percent share of the work. And we'll decide what amount of money we want to reserve to match, to, to satisfy our obligation to match that work. Uh, and then whatever's left we could spend for other projects. But if we spend it for trail, that's not an other project. That's one of the elements that they will be calling out in the, in the report. Are we? Yeah. Okay. I, I would like to pose a question, and I'd like to hear what the rest, how the rest of the board feels. Um, <clears throat> When it comes to the subject of tourism or the Welcome Center, that is, you know, a pretty good, pretty good chunk of money there. And I, I struggle with it because I, and I don't want it to sound like I don't value tourism because I do. We need it. But I struggle with perhaps the amount of money that's spent on it, and I would be curious to hear how the rest of the board feels. Could we, should we, maybe think about redistributing some funds from that to maybe help? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of serious issues that need to be taken care of. That's no secret. Streets need work. Police department needs more money. There's a lot of other things. So I, I kind of... I kind of struggle with some of it, and I'd just like to hear some thoughts from some other people. How do, how do, how do the other board members feel about it? I've asked before, and I don't know if I ever got an answer, because I don't think we have, I don't think anybody knows the answer yet, but, you know, a quarter of a million dollars is a lot of money to spend on, on one item like that. And I understand that we, we see some benefit of that. However, I'd kind of like to know a little bit more about what the National Park is bringing to the table and how much of the work that they're going to be doing is going to be redundant to what we're paying to have done for the city. So I'd like to see some sort of numbers to see if we can work like you were saying, work together with the National Park Service mm -hmm. and maybe work together with them and, and not only reduce our costs overall, but, you know, by us funding maybe some of it. Maybe consolidate some services. Yeah. Right, because I, yeah. I, I have a hard time believing that there isn't going to be a ton of redundancy there with what they're doing to promote their national park, which promotes our whole town, not just the national park properties, and what our Tourism Commission, Tax Commission, all that, what they do to I'd like to see a, something studied on the effect of <coughs> all of them being combined and working together rather than having, two, well, at least two separate entities, the Park Service versus the Tourism Commission, or Tourism Board, or Department. Um, like I said, a quarter of a million is a lot of money for us to spend on something that we're not really required to have a lot of cities that have tourist stuff there aren't don't do fund their departments like that um, you know we are required to have a fire department we are required to have a police department uh, we are required to have safe streets and sidewalks so i mean i mean well i don't want to change the conversation but I know that the National Park Service is not going to operate our visitor center. And, 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 and the, the, the majority of that $250,000 is not spent on marketing. It's spent on <coughs> staffing and maintaining the, the, the welcome center. Uh, the marketing comes out you know, in the $50,000 range. Uh, so you, if you are talking about, if you want to save $250,000, you have to talk about shutting down the welcome center. 
Well, when I go back and look at, at previous years, you go back eight years and every single line item of that department has more than doubled in just eight years. And no other department has had that kind of increase. And I'm just wondering if the spending is worth the reward when we don't have near the increases anywhere else. And at one time, wasn't it predominantly volunteers? There were some, you're nodding yes, was that, I was under that impression, but I don't know that. Was, was it, it was volunteers, and then the Jared Effect Committee like gave the city $24,000 a year that paid for that the, sounds the lady that ran it at the time. Right, right, right. And then the rest were volunteers. Right. Um, I don't understand your comment, Joe. Yeah, the, the increase? Yeah. So where, where's that at? Let me see if I can find it here. <coughs> Which maybe this is a topic for discussion when we go through the actual budget, but. Yeah, we almost have to have department ads in order to get. No, that's what we were going to discuss. Right. Kind but, of a but this is just sort of a general <coughs> feel. Yeah. And how, how do you guys feel about it? I, it's something that I've looked at for a long time, and this being my third year here. I kind of wanted to settle in and just see what's going on, and I, I, I kind of struggle with some of it. So, you know, I don't think I'm alone in that. I want to hear other people's thoughts too. You know? I, I feel like, as as a person elected to the board, it's our job to look at it closely. Exactly. That's and if, what if we're, we're here for. And if we're not looking at it as closely as we can, I mean, we're we're stewards of a big chunk of money that needs to be used to run the city in various ways and if we're not looking at it closely then i feel like we're not doing our jobs but you're talking about in general not just this one particular uh, in general right in general yeah right. i'm not targeting any right. any particular no and set. i don't i don't saying. want it to be construed that i am i just look at and i agree with something that martin said earlier in that i don't really feel there is any fat i mean our, our department heads i have confidence in them and i don't I don't feel the need to go over every line item of every department, um, but I feel like on a general level, just looking at the pie and how the pie is distributed, the percentages, what we have to work with, I feel like this needs looking at. Maybe I'm wrong. I just, but I want other people to, you know, I want to talk through it. I want to hear it, you know. Maybe I can be convinced otherwise. But. Uh, and what the exact answer is, I don't know either. I want to hear what people have I don't to say. Think, uh, I don't think the National Park Service is coming in here to, to sell St. Genevieve. Mm -hmm. That's not their, their job. They're, the National Park is coming in to establish some properties and showcase them. Mm -hmm. as what, and now, well, that, that will bring people to town. Sure. But people are going to come to town because you're, you're still going to have several properties that are not owned by the National Park. Right. There's other things in this community to do that have to be sold and have to be worked out. So well, this bears a question, Mayor. Do they need to be sold? Well, that, that's a that's a smoking gun, is what that is. That's that's the only way you're going to find that out, Randy. I know. Is to make a decision and I say know. we're I not going to do it, and let's see what happens. And right. if it's if it and if it works. Whoo, man, don't we look good? But if it don't, then everybody here will have to answer to that. Well, I'm not willing. I'm not willing to take the chance. I'll be honest with you. What I've seen is there's there's a lot of moving parts when yeah. you talk to tourism, and, and you're looking at the budget. But I encourage you spend some time with some people that are working in that, and and make sure you're we're doing the right thing. I am absolutely. I'm against it. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. It's very important, and and the reason I'm against it is because <clears throat> that is one of the departments. Every one of our, our police department, they don't bring money into the city. They cost us money. Our streets and roads, they cost us money. All right, the, our employees, they're it's they're not. This is something that's generating revenue. You know, so how much but, I don't but, know. Is it to offset it? I don't know. But, but but see, and I'm glad you brought that up because. Okay, they're generating revenue for private entities, shops, stores, and, and I want those people to succeed. Mm -hmm. That's what but generally speaking, in the free enterprise system, 
if you have a business, you're responsible for promoting yourself. It's, it's, I struggle with the idea of tax dollars going to, per, to, to promote private businesses. Well, but the private I've been businesses in business sell life. things that generate the tax dollars that we operate off of. Yeah, I know, I know. That's but a, I, I, it's I, tough. I, it's, I, I, it's very tough. It's very it, it's, it's a tough yeah. one. It, it is. is. It is. is. How, how, do we, how do we know if this is working, tax dollar-wise? Well, you, you'll never know. But what I do no. know is we monitor <coughs> the, what we consider to be the tourism-sensitive businesses. And we compare the movement of our tax dollars on the tourism sensitive businesses to the movement of the general tax dollars. Because if you're spending $50,000 a year on marketing and you're trying to figure out how it works, you need to, to do that. So if, if we get a 3% increase in sales tax and the tourism sensitive businesses only increase by 3%, they haven't done any more than the general economy would have generated. Mm -hmm. right. And 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 since since we have been doing it, there have been a couple of years where it was insignificant, but in the last just several years, uh, if we get a three percent general tax increase, we see five, six percent in the tourism sensitive businesses. So our tax increases are higher in those areas and lower on the downside. They, they don't, you know, so is that a direct result of this money being spent? I don't know. How much is it? That's why I struggle with it. Mm -hmm. And be mindful, more people coming into town, more people that have to be, that, that are gonna have questions, direction, and there's a whole, there's a lot goes into that. And unless you spend some time down there on a Friday night. Years ago, wanna... we struggled with that very issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a, something called a conversion study that can be done, but it's very expensive. Okay. And it puts these companies that do that, put people here, and they stay here, and they interview people, mm -hmm. and they spend a long time to come to a conclusion as to how the tax, the marketing dollars are converting to sales. Mm -hmm. uh, but we didn't have the $50,000 to pay for it, so we... <laughs> well, yeah, I don't, I don't think that would be money well spent, really. You know, I guess one question, you know, I have and stuff, looking at the 10-month actual and stuff, you know, out of the total uh, that they've spent so far, $205,000, $100,000 of that is basically is wages and benefits. Um, how many people do we have works there, and what is our staff? And well, I don't have the, but Sanders the only full-time employee. These are the part-time people that work to fill the hours that we don't have. Is the intern working full-time? They almost have to be. We're spending $17,000 on insurance for somebody. We only have and one full-time employee at Sanders. But to answer your question, I was going from 2009. Hmm? I was basing my numbers off 2009 versus 2017. Salaries in 2009 were 40,000. 2017 adopted budget was 81. Total expenditures for 2009 was 102. 2017 was 249. So that's where I was I just looking at these four years. It didn't, it didn't reflect that. Yeah. I went back to 2009. I would imagine you've seen increases in almost every department significantly not, since not 2009. Double. But a fair amount. Not, not anywhere close. What's the city's budget done in the last eight years? In terms of percentages? Well, in, or, in, <coughs> you know, it's been pretty, about, well, it, it's gone up and I don't have the, the, the exact numbers. Close, um, just ballpark. You know. 10% increase. So this is, is that right? Considerably more. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember when I arrived here, a couple of aldermen proud of the decision they made to start spending money to support <clears throat> tourism marketing beyond the money that came from the 
the, the lodging tax because they thought that was what was an investment. Uh, and I mean they were right, but but it means that a decision was made to do what Joe has has uh, has talked about. It wasn't just a kind of a unconscious growth of the of the budget it was a decision it happened intentionally yeah. and mm -hmm. purposefully and this this board gets to, to set their own priorities mm -hmm. i would invite the alderman to come to the meeting on the 21st of august at 5 30 to broach this topic directly with the tourism advisor and the board we have tourism advisory meeting at 5 30 on the 21st and we have tourism commission at 5 45. so i would make note if i were you on the 21st Perhaps you want to stop in to talk to us about this. I would also suggest or recommend caution in looking at this particular budget item until we have the National Park here for a couple, two, three years. Then we could possibly do a study and make decisions that are data driven as opposed to kind of just guess, it's guesswork is off the do. cuff. We're not going to know what the National Park does until 10 years in. We're not going to know how much of an asset this department is until we have the data that can flesh that out. And I, again, caution you not to gut this department because it may be something that makes us put this town on the map and help all of us with roads, schools, and everything else. I, agree. I, I totally agree. I don't disagree, but, you know, we are faced with some tough decisions, and like I said, streets and sidewalks, we are required to provide. Streets. Police protection, fire department protection, we are required to provide. I absolutely and agree with you. A quarter of a million dollars is a lot of money, you know, and a lot of people, in, you know, don't feel that their tax money should be spent on supporting private business. Uh, it's not just Randy, it's not just me. A lot of people in this town I think hear that it way. a lot. Now, and I'm you here to represent from your, them. And, and your ward, and I appreciate that. And I'm here to say from my ward, there's a heck of a lot of people that are all for this. So this is probably a ward, ward issue. But if you were in ward one or two, where the, it's the historic, most of the historic stuff is there, you're going to have a heck of a time selling this trying to gut it, I think. You're going to have people coming here in droves, but that's just me. Well, yeah. I'm just I, throwing that out there. So and, and, I and believe see, you me, I agree yeah. with you, and I want to go on the record. I completely agree with you about the roads and how important our police and fire are, and yeah. I think everybody knows that. Either we find other arenas to manipulate the budget, find other revenue streams, or be very, very cautious. That's yeah, all I'm saying. And, and that's why I posed it as I wanted to hear other people's thoughts you know and I don't that being said I I'm a believer in priorities and when and I've lived through some tough times myself when you have tough times you don't spend money on things that are not absolutely essential as a business owner oftentimes there are things you need to spend money on in the hopes that you'll have return on investment oh absolutely I think this is one of those elements and, and that's your opinion and, and I and, you're, and, and, and I think that's the opinion know. of quite a few people and business owners yeah in the well, community but it also comes down to what we are required to provide and <clears throat> what you know they made the decision years ago and that the decision at that time was probably the right decision is, was it sustainable? I don't know. We need to look at that. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying gut it. I'm just saying that's one area that right. I found that we need to look. I'm not interested in because gutting Because that anything. is a lot of money, and that's why I, I want to look at the national parks and just, I mean, they say that there's not going to be much, uh, if, if they can assist us and we can assist them, maybe it'll lower that down some and yeah, still get the same job accomplished. You should, but I'm, you're not going to know that. Ten years out. You're not going to know it. At least three years out. We can at least bring them to the table and see what they're willing to help us with and what we can help them with. Well, Joe, right now they're concerned with getting this thing started. And it's six. It's a minimum of six to 12 months. That's what I keep hearing. Six to 12 months and to, to get this going. So, And quite honestly, one of the reasons 
important reason that they're even looking at it is because of what's been done with this tourism and all the people involved in everything that they've done to, to bring this to the table and, and to get where we're at today. I, I, I just think it's just like you're shooting yourself in the foot because and I understand that there's, it's, it, roads are important, but in the last two years, we've, we've managed to fix some, some roads not all the roads, but our roads, I believe our roads are in a lot better shape and they're gonna to continue to improve. We've upped it, Gary and them have come up with, with patching that's, that's better. It's a lot better than what it's been. We've got some major arteries that have been repaired uh, and we're gonna to continue to do that. Uh, so roads, I don't think, people can't say that we're not working on roads we are and everybody in everybody's ward there's there's going to be some major road impair now with the police yeah there's there's going to have to be where are you going to find that money and that's where it's coming from mm -hmm. and i know it is and both we know that is where it's got to come so are we going to rob peter to pay paul is that going to fix it what are we going to do when when something else comes up what are we going to do we're we going to try to Cut something else out. I don't know. It's the age old question. We go we, we have these conversations over and over. Well that's what I say. That's why I say we gotta be very mindful right. looking two, three, four years out when you, none of us may even be here. You know, so we gotta be very mindful and smart about that. Paul, so. I you know, I'm not interested in gutting anything and stuff. You know, I think it's all of our jobs here and stuff to make sure we're operating at maximum efficiency with minimal, you know, reserves to work with or minimal income to work with and stuff. And as far as looking at each one of these budgets and saying, you know, okay, this two hundred fifty thousand dollars maybe need to be two hundred forty thousand dollars. I think that's our job to look at those and well, make I, sure that that's, you know, that a cut it in half or something like that. Absolutely not. But I okay. think we need to make sure every department is operating at maximum efficiency so we can f use money for other things that we deem is more important than. Right. And and all we can do is we can look at the numbers, but we're not actually spending the money and working the budget. That's where we've got to go back to the people we have in charge. We have to have some trust and some sure. faith in them that they're, they're, they're spending. And, and where do we cut it? Now, it, that's it's a good, and I, point well taken, but you still have to have some faith in the people that you employ and that you hire. Yeah, I, well, I don't I, doubt that. I but, you know, as for one example, last year, and I don't know why this number sticks out and stuff, our uh, employee health insurance went up 40 plus thousand dollars. How do we keep coming up with those increases if we don't look at every department and say, and that's I know I've had end. to do that numerous times. That's never going to end because that's what insurance well, does, it goes up. Yeah, and if we don't look at every one of these departments and say, you know, are we at maximum efficiency, <clears throat> how are we going to keep coming up with those increases? That's a huge chunk of money to come up with every year. And it's like Randy said, it's not going away. It's probably going to be more than that this year. Well, we got to remember our unique community here for one thing. And the only reason we have that 20 something million dollar levy. 53 out million here, dollar levy. 53 million. Part of How many? 53, 53 million. million. Oh, I was backwards there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, that's, what, that's why we're here. That's why this community is like it is. And, and we have to take care of that. I agree. You know, so, and this is a big part of it. The welcome center is a big part of it. You know, the tourism, <clears throat> tourism is a big part of it. I think we've all heard from people. I know I have. There's a perception from some folks in town that that this board is concerned with only improving things to improve tourism. I've heard it again and again from people. The the I've never I, heard that at all. I, I, have. I have absolutely I have. heard it. Yeah. I've I've heard We're it recently. Right. In reference to the streets that we've chosen to repair, I was told that, well, Main Street, that's just for the tourists. Okay. I, I disagree with it 110%. Okay, well, thank you very much, because Park Street but, isn't. Ridge, and that's, and that's what I've, I've told them. I'm like, Ridgeway's well, I, not. Yeah, Ridgeway, I didn't know that the, so a lot of tourists are hitting yeah. up Ridgeway. But that's, that's a perception <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah. town. Okay. That's a perception from some people. Town, and I'm not, right. I'm not suggesting that it's an accurate right. statement. But there are, uh, there are people that think that way. You know what? I've been in this for thirty some years, and it, it was—it's been like this the whole time, John. Well, I and, it and has. I, I I know. And actually, I know when it I is. first when I first ran, I told people, I said, well, "I don't care about them old houses." You know, and they they liked to hear that at that time. When I got elected. 
but I changed my mind. And I got, I changed my mind in the last, you know. And Buck, just for the record, <clears throat> how do you feel about those old houses now? I like them. Oh, all right. <laughs> Tourism to this town is just as important natural resource as all that lime we're doing exactly. now. Exactly. It, so. it, it is yeah, exactly. just as important yeah. to this town as that stuff and is. Speaking of that lime, how come we don't revisit the idea of Annex and the Man? And bring some more oh, money into the city. Let's talk on. about this. We want more money in this well, city. They're using our city water. Why don't we just bring that bucket of money right in here? Because they can't pick up blocks and move no. because their resource is here. Money, money, money. I'm all ears. I all right. The, the one then let's have a conversation about happened? bringing revenue in as we, opposed to gutting this, our, current, our current departments. Times, Jerry. Then you and, and I need to go and have ourselves well, a conversation. You know what? They said that. That, that once the lawyers start in, them are the people that would mm -hmm. money, of course. You know. Well, I know. And it would I take know. years. Well, they, it takes years, but imagine the money. Wow. I'm just well, thinking about that. I guess it's just my right? business mind thinking of revenue stream. We don't have the money to spend on, on lawyers. It would need to be a voluntary annexation. Well, but maybe we should yeah, ask them really nicely. I think it's our job to look closely at the budget every yes. year. I agree. I agree. With agree. And I think we all I agree with that, John. The question, and, the question and, is, how do you want to approach that this year? There, that's good. I, I, I would like to, in the past, what we've had the department heads come in, present their budget to us. We ask them questions, that kind of thing. I, I think that would be a good idea. Um, yeah, we have to. Brilliant. I agree. I I'm think, all for it. I think that, um, even better than the media. The you know, I was, I was very new last time we did this. And I'm, le I'm less, a little less new now, but I still feel like I'm pretty new. I agree. Um, so I, I would like to, to hear what they have to say about uh, what they're requesting. And, and you know, if, if, if people on this board have tough questions they want to ask them, then they need to be ready to answer those questions. Absolutely. Yeah. Ask yeah, them to I justify agree. their salaries job. and expenditures. Yeah. There that's you go. Job. And that's a better idea than the 21st is what I said. That, instead, you're more than welcome. I'd love right. to have you at the meeting. But that would be a really good idea. Have them come talk to us. Well, we will. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah. That's the question the is, at what level of detail do you want to have that discussion? Line item, line item. All the way. They should be able to answer any question that we have. I mean, anything they, they have, have on The next here? question is, how many hours do you want to devote to? Right. Buck? Whatever it takes. Oh, my. Okay. So one of, one, one of the popular of uh, 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 yeah. approaches is called a performance-based like budget. Yeah. And what you do is you no. come in with no budget. The city has X number of dollars, and the board, you have to take time off, and we have to have you together mm -hmm. for, you know, a couple of days, maybe three days, I'm familiar with that. and you just rebuild based on, on, on the performance goals that you establish for the city. Now, as Joe points out, you can't not have a police department, <laughs> so let's see, you can't not have a fire department. Uh, that, that that is a level of time commitment that I think nobody here wants to put to, to, to put in. Well, I don't think we need to. Why do we, why do we have to fix something that's not broken? I don't think it's broken. I think it, like John says, it, it we need to look at it, making sure the the money's well spent. But that's like reinventing the wheel. Why do we? Why do I, I don't want to waste my time doing that? I'm sorry, I just don't want to do that. I could. I mean, Martin, <laughs> you've made a big difference in the time that you've been here. And, and dealing with you in the last several years that I've been on the board, you're about as frugal as they come when it comes to trying to get money for anything. Thank you for noticing. And <laughs> I have faith that when you sat down to talk to each department to get to this far, that it's not any fluff. Yeah. But it doesn't take a drink again. That does not take a great deal of effort because mm -hmm. they've already thought about it before they get right. to me. And the way we've done it in the past is the major ones, you know, we would <clears throat> have our budget meetings on the off Thursdays that we didn't have these meetings. I think that's how we yeah, did it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We did that. And we'd have three or four of them come in and, and knock it out in an hour or two, and some of them lasted longer than others. Some of them didn't. Uh, just to raise any questions we may have at, to this point, but I don't, I don't want to go back and say why did you spend ten dollars more on staples this year than you did last no, year? I, no, I have no desire I mean, I don't to do that. I have any need to knit <coughs> any department. I know the majority of them are under budget. Um, 
you know, for what they requested last year, and, and they do that every year. So we don't, we're not in that situation where they, you know, with a month to go, they hurry up and spend down that, that account. I trust the job that Sue's doing, that these numbers are accurate. I trust your diligence in, in talking with the department head. So I don't feel the need to have a budget committee put together like they used to do. Uh, I would like to just do like we've done the past several years and, and you know, talk to the department head one-on-one. -on -one well, why don't we set a schedule for that? Let's do it. But, but Martin, I'm not picking on anybody, but for example, the Welcomes budget insurance is $20,751. How many police do, or people are in the police department? 11. 11. Their insurance is only 121000 don't we have the same insurance for all employees? I'm, I'm, I'm it's the same it's insurance, based. but it's based on if you have full family coverage, if you have, um, if you're single, if you're married, if you have a family. family yeah. See where I'm going? I know, I'm, I'm, you got it. That, that's in, that's a blip on the road. <coughs> I just thought that was a, a huge amount. That's what I'm have saying. One full -time well, I, employee every 10,000 helps, right? Every whatever. Do the part time employees. Take a cash. Well, I mean, this is all stuff. Good. This is all stuff to discuss when we're talking right. about exactly. part time employees. That's what we're well, talking about. But those questions, questions don't have to wait no. for the department yet. I mean, if you right. have questions like that, right. please don't wait for the meeting. Right. Oh, okay. So Call I, us. I think okay. that's a good, that's a good idea. Why is it so much more for the insurance? That'd be a good thing to ch check into. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, it, everybody gets the same insurance. No, mine are just little and, nuggets and, I have questions about. And your about. cost is a relation, it is related to age, sex, insurance number of, as much the the level of coverage, family, not family. Right. Oh my God, leaps and bounds. Okay. Some opted for extras and they're paying a portion yeah, of the right. premium for the higher, yeah, right. the higher yeah. level. Yeah. Higher yeah. Level. Yeah. Just a, even more beautiful. Kind of complicated yeah. combination yeah. of things. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, so we now, about, uh, I go to the community center. <laughs> I think he was threatening me about it. going to the fitness center. So, oh, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, the fuck you want to do, the you wanna do it in the odd Thursdays? So I think even great. Thursdays? I, I mean, that's how we have. I'm fine. Oh, that's that. fine. I mean, that works for me. Do they have court next Thursday? Yes. 16th is court. So, can we meet at the firehouse then? Sure. Ooh, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yes. We did that on a Saturday one time. So, we're yeah, talking about the 9th, which is our first day of school. Yeah, that was an all day meeting. Uh, uh, Twenty. Yes. Kenny's not here tonight, or won't be here tonight. Oh but, uh, God, I'm sure that it would, if not the firehouse, I'll find it. For I don't know. He'd meet in the yeah, basement right. of MRV Bank or something. They got a, they got a beautiful meeting. Do we have to have it on Thursday? Because I got a meeting that. No. Night. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. 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 Or comments at least uh, pressing social. So media. he can only make Thursdays, and you can't make Thursdays. Whatever. <laughs> Who are you gonna have? Who are you gonna have? I'd like to be here for the welcome center. That's the main thing. But I think all the rest of them ain't gonna be that. I agree. Oh, you're only you're only not available for this Thursday. Next Thursday. The sixteenth. I mean, 16th. just not every Thursday. Just <laughs> yeah, just that day. The first day of school. Well, the twenty third. The twenty third. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. want to meet before the before the board meeting? Then, like at five. Yeah. We sure. can go. Why don't we go through the ones that that the administrative yeah. budget, the court budget, the you know, <clears throat> it, 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 the, the, and we don't even invite the judge to because it's what it is. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do that on that Thursday. We'll do all the twenty something kind of ministerial budgets that where there's not so a lot of money. Sunday. Yes. Is it twenty? Is it twenty eight nine? What time would you? Uh, twenty nine. What time would you, could you be available? Maybe. Yeah. Be next Thursday is the 16th. Yes, the next Thursday is the 16th. in court. You'll be okay after this. After this. Doesn't. In the email, right, you know, I got a meeting at oh, 5, 5 15. Sorry, boss. All right. Yeah. Fine. All right. Okay. And planning and zoning will not conflict, I'm sure. <laughs> Before you even ask. <laughs> what time? What time one half? I don't know. What day are we talking about? There's 16. Thursday the 16th. Thursday the 16th. Thursday the 16th. It's up to you. I don't care. I'm six can, is fine. I'll be there late. Is he what time do you want to do it? She said six o'clock. Six o'clock. All right. So I then, might be able to make it. Okay. On the sixteenth. Okay. Yes. We'll start right after. And then I on the twenty-third, it'll be at five o'clock because that'll be before our meeting. Thank you, Pam, for making sure you look at me and remind me. And this is um, <laughs> at the firehouse. Firehouse on the sixteenth. <laughs> She's so good. She's like. Do you have any conflict with that? Do you know? 
<clears throat> I just have some questions that can and We'll see how far we get on those two days and then we'll plan the 30th accordingly. The 23rd, you said? At six, six o'clock. She'll send an email out. Still need this. And on the 23rd at 5 as well? 6 o'clock on the 16th. I mean, if we do 5 o'clock, I guess it's an hour. I'm asking a question. Some, you know, I want to know what everybody feels about. The fire department budget doesn't take long. He's not, he's not requesting any new equipment. He's not requesting everything. Yeah. On the 23rd, are they talking about 5 o'clock? Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the hour before the... I just think we should be able to look at each one. And mm -hmm. stuff. It's but remember, yeah. the thing I recommend, though, in that regard... If you're looking at 09, though, you have to remember that was when it was volunteer. What's that? If you're looking at apples and oranges. But not only salary is done, but I'm with but you. Else. And I'm with you, and I, and I want to get to the same place you want to get mm -hmm. to. Right? I want beautiful roads and everything else. But make sure you're looking at apples Who to apples. Here, do they do that? Right. Not yeah. volunteer yeah. workforce. Those stockers are all worse. They need to be bragging about it. This is not just welcome. And I did. It had to be nine. And, and I understand. I'm, understand. Right. I'm with you. I'm totally with you. Oh, I'm sorry. So you're the first stop on the bus ride. All right. Somebody needs to help me understand a couple of questions. I'm sure that you all know the answers. Martin, to this. I just have some questions. Ready to get back? Uh, oh. Gary's got some questions. And they're probably really just, I just need to know for my own clarification what's going on here. Um, what page are you on? I'm on page 11. I'm just curious, what is a chamber payment? It's our membership to the Chamber of Commerce, and it's, we, our website is maintained by a consultant who is hired kind of through the chamber. Okay, so our membership and the website is about the membership 10, is five hundred dollars, and the rest month. is website for about ten and grand. The okay, rest is the and that's the city's website. It's the city's website. Okay, because okay. I just didn't understand. Thank you. No. All right. No. Um, Not to say like the, 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 city, the visit St. Jen website. The visit St. Jen website. The tourism website. So who does? Oh. So, so that that's that does it's not coming out of the tourism budget. No. So that's another ten grand. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to open up that can. But uh, how many police officers do we have? Eleven. How many? De how many dedicated investigators do we have? One. One. Where are we at? What page? Are we? What page I'm, that was page 12. Wow. He's all over the place. How many vehicles do we have? Wait a minute, what page are you? 12? 11. Page? Or 12. 12. These are kind of questions I'm curious about. I just, just want to get my money. Right. Just the police department. Because I'm looking at page 12. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to know that. He, I'd like he's going to gonna answer you. Excellent. Who's going to answer me? Gary. Uh, Eric, Jay, we have 11 officers, 11 cars. And I don't remember what the other Do we have a dedicated investigator or we detective? Have one, we have one dedicated. Is that full time or part time? Full time. How many vehicles do we have for our police? What's the average age? No, a policeman or a vehicle? <laughs> oh. Vehicle. vehicle or person? Age? No, of the age vehicle. of the vehicle, my friend. <laughs> the goal is five years. Five years. To keep them under five years. Okay. We have one now that's 2010, 2011, something like that, that will be going out if, if this budget is funded. Beauty. That makes sense to me now. Everything adds up perfectly. Thank you so right. much. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you meant an officer. I'm like, I don't understand the <laughs> you know, I relevance, like, but I knew they okay. were young, but they were old. <laughs> I was going to try to deputize myself, but they don't want the old fart. Um, let me ask a quick question. And, and th I'm looking for revenue stream, so I'm, I'm like I'm hoping five years from now. Um, I'm just looking at page 18. Okay, that's right. And the reason I was reading through this, because I was looking at revenues, and I'm hoping, God, we need roads and we need all this stuff. How can we bring more money into the community? Do we have anyone that is dedicated to writing grants, especially since national parks is on the horizon, and there's a lot of money that can be made through national park grants, is my understanding. Do we have anybody that is trained or that does our grant writing? I write grants. You do write grants. OK, fantastic. Because that could be a good revenue stream. They're always conscious of them looking for grants for things like parks. Beautiful. And you know, uh, there are no grants for roads. Right. I didn't think so. Yeah, well, I take that back. You know, this is not the time for this discussion. Okay. All right. Oh, All right. There are no grants for roads unless you're in a major metropolitan area. Okay. You're my, you're our, you are our main grant writing That's guru. Right. Thank you. Um, Page Parks one. Department, real quickly, question for you, Gary. Page 23. Are we still using that mosquito chemical that we're spending five grand a year on? 
I, I thought that that was outlawed. Uh, we use uh, this to treat the pond. Okay, so they, they're, okay, good, thank you. So they're still five grand? Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you, sir. I have a question. Okay. What is the um, band fund CD for? Good question. We hope you can answer that. You had me at revenue stream, though. I looked at yours, too. Originally, I that was your, to try to save money for, for a shelter, wasn't this? it? Was it? I believe I like so. I don't know it's been there as long as I've been here. Yeah. Yeah. Revenue yeah. you bring in? It was. They were like that. John, we're answering your question, and you're not answering. I'm listening. What did I say? Build a shelter. <laughs> <laughs> and they will come. <laughs> no, you don't want I mean, shelter. that was originally set aside for that, if I remember correctly. But <laughs> I realized it wasn't going to grow along with the pace of construction costs going up, I guess, I, but it never... It's, it, that kind of, I, that's the first time I've heard of that. Yeah. I just knew we had yeah. a CD in my it's, John. It's from, it's from <laughs> the band tax. It's money that right. was collected for... Can only be spent so for band. Can only be spent for live I thought maybe there was a band emergency. Live public music for. performances. They go I think that's kind of why the grant... Band stand. Grant application process was created was to use cool. some, of some of that money back into the community for those types of things. Yeah, I don't think it's been... Right. Oh, well, that's interesting. I don't think it's been sitting there for... Yeah. Not the CD. Seven years. Just some of the revenue that's generated. Yeah, and they're doing the tax. that. They're doing that. I just wonder, we've got... It seems like we've got 50 <coughs> grand sitting there for no purpose. Stage 26? A really classy band stand would be really cool. Okay, where, you, where you put it? I don't know. Four minutes. Really cool. Okay, one more quick question for you. This is just one, my own edification. What is the a special road fund budget item? What is a, what is a special road fund? The 75000 Yes, sir. It's the money the special road district gave to us special road one year. Uh, and we've been just saving it. Okay. It will be used on Chadwell Lane. Uh, when we get There's another road improvement. Road. I know. It's check, yeah. check. That's all I want to know. Hopefully, I'm here and that's an opportunity. Is it going to happen this year? You told me it's going to happen this year. It is going to happen. Whoever did that, that's very clean. Uh, uh, you said it is? Yeah. Did you do it? I said it will happen this year. Good. I'll give you, I'll give you a scoop. We'll hear more about that <laughs> in three minutes. <laughs> three, Joe. Three minutes. Washington. Good. You got three minutes, Randy. I need some water. What do I need to do? I don't know. We just got three minutes to do it. So let's. let's uh, it's Eric. Let's hire Aerosmith or something. Give them access to the water. Dispenser, take it.
Call this meeting to order. A stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gary gets back to the roll call. We'll have a roll call. Mayor Hassler. Here. Alderman Ruzica. Here. Alderman Prince. Here. Alderman Stooping. Here. Alderman Jones. Here. Alderman Jokers. Here. Alderman Donovan. Here. Alderman Mooney. Here. Soon. Alderman Smith. Yeah, no Soon to be here. here. <laughs> Almost here. I was trying. <laughs> Mayor, we have a quorum. I'm sorry. All right, but well, we can go ahead and have approval of the agenda. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Takes it. Oh, there's a meeting going on in the hallway. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> We're started. Will you send Gary in? I, I, I just sent Gary in there. So. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go on without him. So uh, we'll take this to the city administrator's report. Okay. We had a. Uh, a meeting here in City Hall where uh, I, the mayor, and Sandra Cabot met with a uh, representative of the National Park Service to review the process. Uh, you've received some of the benefit of that uh, in information tonight already in the work session, but uh, it, um, I um, think that in, this is a personal comment is, you know, we started out with this idea that we'd have this like this national park and it'd be there on St. Mary Street and there'd be a couple of buildings involved and now it's kind of taken on a whole new life. And I think some of that has to do with the visit from the senators and the regional director and, and I mean, I, I'm just amazed that it's kind of progressed beyond my expectations and I'm not displeased about any of that. But uh, we, we had a, a good meeting, he didn't just meet with us, he was meeting with people all over the town about it. and. Uh, and he's he's he he's got a really good feeling about the the, the, the progress of this this process. Um, I reported to you that Phoenix Contracting got the bid uh, on the water tower. Um, it we had a meeting here with uh, Phoenix Contracting, the, uh, the County Commission, Brad Arnold from the Community Center, Alliance Water, and Brock Miller Construction. And uh, everybody's agreeing on the schedule, and everybody's agreeing on who's going to do what, and that process is just uh, going going pretty well. Uh, Commissioner Nelson, that he said, you know, for the first time, I'm I'm feeling good about this. That, that it's going to it's going to happen the way we, we expect it to. Uh, since I wrote uh, this uh, <coughs> report, uh, there was a meeting uh, out on site with uh, the. Uh, Bauman excavating is going to be doing the foundation and there were some kind of issues that he raised so we made a executive decision to shift the tower 10 feet to avoid the conflicts that he saw which doesn't affect anything in terms of the hydrology or the geometry and uh, we clarified where, where the the road would, would go come in there was some thought that the access road might encroach on the nursing center property uh, so uh, Commissioner Nelson called the owner of the nursing center and uh, nursing home, and he's totally agreeable to whatever we need to do. So there's no conflict, and, and we'll, we'll get it done. Uh, we met with Lakeman on our insurance. We were remembering we were talking insurance earlier. Uh, if we don't do anything, uh, our insurance is going to go up 6%, uh, and we're going to have to reduce benefits to get it at 6%. They don't offer, as it was, it was explained to us, that United Healthcare doesn't offer the same policy they every year they change policies so what we have now isn't available uh, so the policy that's most like what we have now would be a six percent increase she also informed us of a program uh, and I, I can't go into too much detail about it because we're still waiting to hear about it but it, it basically calls for the city to self-insure at some level uh, and, and and so if there's a claim and the insurance company that writes this program can't fill it and there's a secondary insurance uh, that, that will fill it and, and, and so about six things have to go wrong before the city would ever be looked to for a um, to, to pay a claim but this self-insurance program is is something that a, a lot of communities have been going to uh, and, and, and you justify it by looking at your history and 
seeing what kind of cl claims you have and, and making sure that, that you can cover that. Uh, in this case, we would be like the, th the third responsible party in the event that the worst happens and a major insurance company went bankrupt and the secondary insurer went bankrupt and, and, and it will hopefully end up reducing it. But as soon as I get the details or when I get the details, I'll be bringing them to you so you can kind of decide because that, 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 that's kind of a policy decision. It's, it's not an, I don't want that to be an administrative decision because we'd be committing the city to something that we in the past have not been committed to. Um, the, um, I've included in your, in your um, handouts, did I include the uh, proposed schedule? Maybe you didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't no, give it to I you. Did not. There is a proposed schedule for the uh, hearing the, uh, on the um, revisions to the TIF. Uh, the, the taxing districts have been notified. Uh, I think the first meeting is September the 6th. I'll look that up before you leave. It's it is. It is okay. It's September the 6th. Uh, then it will be held, it'll be held here. Uh, to discuss the boundaries and whether or not we want to adjust them. At 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. Um, I had a call from SEMA. The guy Dave Bergen down there is, uh, is with the State Emergency Management Agency, saying, you never closed out disaster number or whatever and whatever. I said, sure we did. I mean, we did that back a year ago, two, a year and a half ago. Well, you never called SEMA. And I said, well, how are we supposed to know who we're supposed to call? Uh, so anyway, he came in and, uh, and Sue met with him and got all that resolved. It was not a, not a problem. It's just one of those bureaucratic things that you just, you know, just amazed me. Um, <coughs> Thank you. Dave uh, Boba uh, was made aware that we were looking for uh, computers and uh, informed us that the school had just replaced their computers and so they're two years old and that they would be available for us to acquire. He brought in a uh, sample of the, co uh, of the computer it's and it's a, it's a, well, it's, it's like a Chromebook with a, with a keypad. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they look, what do I know? They look fine to me. And uh, and so we're going to acquire those for your use, and uh, and should have those. Uh, for, I don't know exactly when. Do you know so when? So we'll be going the paperless so packets. You eliminate all this paperwork. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, then, uh, as you know, we're doing park roads. So and the mayor and I took the opportunity to meet with uh, Tom Kime at the hospital to make sure that they have new construction planned, and they've uh, awarded the contract to an architect to design it. They have a preliminary layout. We were concerned that we're going to go do this nice road, and they're going to now start bringing in concrete trucks. And uh, so well, I was hoping they'd do a section of that road, <laughs> but they they're not. But but they have agreed to avoid using the new overlay and uh, stay. I mean, uh, Pine Street is built to withstand major traffic. Uh, park is not, <laughs> and, a, and a two-inch overlay isn't going to make it. Uh, any more able to handle concrete trucks? Handle trucks. Uh, so they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna route them through their uh, in Pine Street and through their property and and, and they're gonna protect uh, Park Drive from any any damage. And other than that, there's nothing noteworthy uh, and uh, except that uh, Alderman Jokers can report on the uh, community television meeting that we all attended when the time comes. You, it'll have committee reports and you can do it then. If you want to, if there's anything worth noting, yeah. That is Martin. Any questions yeah. for Martin? <clears throat> okay, that takes us to Kenny's not here uh, for his report. Should have it, and then uh, Gary Roth is here though. Gary's back from vacation, well rested. Uh, oh boy. Well, oh, Gary, you're looking good. That <laughs> vacation did you great. Yeah. Uh, you guys got my report in front of me. I don't have a copy of it. <laughs> uh, get any questions or comments? We did start installation of the wayfinding signs. It's going to be in four phases. Uh, phase one is complete. 
phase two, the poles are in. They just need the signs, and they'll be on tomorrow. So within the next couple of weeks, we should complete that project. Well, are you going to have to talk to an arborist about cutting that tree down there in front of the bridge? Or what are you yeah. There? We're going to be an arborist. <laughs> <coughs> We got most of the lines painted for school starting. We got a couple crosswalks to paint yet. You're all up to staff? You're all up to full yep, staff? Yep, full staff. I want to make a comment about that. Okay. You can interpret this however you choose. <laughs> but uh, the week that Gary was, was gone, His folks did their work, got got things done, and didn't. You know, nobody missed a beat. So that's either that is that is either that either means. <laughs> 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 Gary, Gary <laughs> his leadership ability was such; <coughs> you know, it went very well in his absence. Well, like I said before, we got some very good employees. You know, and, uh, yeah. and you can tell that by this town. This town is, it looks nice. All over. Gary, Ellie, uh, Ellie Bond was asking me about some Johnson grass mm -hmm. cutting. That shoot, that was all cut okay. last week. Okay. Is that, that, that creek bed behind the Knights of Columbus, is, who's in, is that? That. None, none of the creek beds are ours. Who's in charge of that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably the KC. Well, except for the, the, the one behind Point Base Apartments. Cause we, well, that's a drain ditch. That's, okay. that's yeah. not a creek. Oh, bed. the creek. Okay. Yeah. Just that, that, that big long, you know, the creek that goes there behind KC mm -hmm. Hall. It's all really tall. Yeah, those, that's all property owners. If that was in my backyard, I think I'd probably get a letter complaining about it. Wouldn't I? You know, that's, that's kind of a problem. There are natural areas that people don't maintain, and we don't, because kind of, there's no residence is right there, and right. You know, it, it's, it's more of a natural area. Right. And it's always a problem deciding kind of where the vegetation becomes a problem and where it's not a problem. Right. Uh, and, and that might be one of the areas where you want us to start doing that. I mean, that's, that's fine. Right. Uh, I know, you know, we have a problem with the, the railroad on uh, the, the right of way yeah. on South Gallery. Yeah, you know, it's it's right up, right up, right, right up close arguing. to the homes, but they won't maintain it. And, right. You know, we have. I'm not arguing. I quit my life. Okay. She just wanted me to ask about <clears> it, and this is the first chance I saw you. So Where so. does she live at? Right there behind the yeah, back off of Seven. On the other side of the creek. Oh, across the, the bridge, that little bridge yeah. down mm -hmm. Seventh Street. Yeah. Anything else? Well, first of all, I just want to say great job. Welcome back. And it does show great leadership when you you can leave yep. and you, everything runs smoothly. Um, 27th, we have a park board meeting. I'm looking forward to that. Um, we're gonna re I'd like to review a line item for budgeting for those trees we were talking about because I have, um, what if we fall short? What we're looking to do is 19 trees uh, for the city. And we have a little bit of uh, budget left for that, we mm -hmm. think. And whatever we don't have budgeted, you better, local, spend, you better spend it in a hurry. A local individual has said that they will pay for the rest of the cost. Well, and I, it's about $100 a tree. It's about $110 a tree. Yeah, I think there was, what I say, like $2,300 yes, sir. there? That's exactly what you said. Yeah. And, and landscaping. So we're looking to get that, and then it'll be whatever is left over, this particular person will eat the rest of it for us. A 19 trees. That, then we'll plant those in the fall around Ward 1. But oh, the low hanging limbs on the street. We got a plan for that next week. <laughs> once so we get past before, tomorrow, before the third, uh, yeah. Before once the third we get day. past tomorrow, yeah. Matter of <laughs> and you got Monday, probably got it. Then that's <coughs> not too bad. Not too bad, no. Monday. <clears throat> so if we can't send a street sweeper down Main Street before eight o'clock in the morning, right. One time they were out like at five o'clock. <laughs> we got calls. <laughs> when I was a younger person, 
they used to do the street sweeping at night. But that was with horses. No. <laughs> 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 they had a bunch of brooms. Oh, brooms. <laughs> brooms. 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 With horse hair brooms. Yeah, That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love you, bud. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Thank you, Gary. Is that it? That's it. Thanks, Gary. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Brings us to committee reports. And I know there's nothing from planning and zoning. I was already told. <laughs> what about the TV? Uh, you, you guys think more? I don't remember being any, anything out of your head. Uh, no. No. They're, they're just a little longer than maybe they need to be. Oh, well, 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 except they need a member. Maybe, maybe. A, maybe. a new board member? Uh, I think we're all right. Okay. Right, right now. <coughs> okay. That's okay. okay. I think there's no more, no public comments. Uh, you don't have time to look at your consent agenda? Yes. to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Motion carried. There is no old business. It takes us to new business. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, before we start. Before we start. Get down all of this. All of these these budget amendments. Wait a minute. Sure. We got to get through bill number. The oh. Overlay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Bill number 4229, ordinance approving change order number one to the contract with Jokers Incorporated to allow an overlay on Mary Ellen Street and Park Drive in the amount not to exceed. 63 63 per ton motion to approve. second all in favor aye. aye we don't have to have a second reading on that or we, we need to oh we should because we got to get going motion, motion for a second reading second second all in favor of that aye okay so the second reading of bill number 4229 an ordinance approving a change order number one to the contract with jokers incorporated to allow an overlay of mary ellen street and park drive in the amount not to exceed 6363 per ton Move second we'll have a roll call vote <coughs> alderman smith yes alderman mooney yes alderman donovan yes alderman jokers yes. alderman jones yes alderman stoopy yes alderman prince yes alderman ruzica yes Eight yes, zero no's. Bill number 4229 now becomes <coughs> ordinance 4161. Very good. Now, Martin, you have some. Oh, okay. These budget amendments, you know, at, at, we've had this discussion before. A budget is a plan. We go about our business and, and, and we take great pains to make sure that we don't spend more money than was authorized for any department. However, you don't always know how much is going to be here and how much is going to be there. But at the end of the year, we have to reconcile the expenditures, adjust the budget to reflect mm -hmm. the expenditures so the auditor won't come in and say, hey, wait a minute. Uh, so these are, these are budget amendments that are just changing the lines around in order to make them match real time with the, the expenditures and, and, and make it compatible with the... Uh, do we do them individually? Or yeah, individually. Okay. You want to read them all? I have read them all. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no, I wouldn't take your job from you, boss. All no. Right. <laughs> All right, we'll go on bill number 4230, an ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal year 2018 budget relating to the capital improvement fund number 70. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill number 4231, an ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal <coughs> year 2018 budget relating to federal levy fund number 45 and capital improvement fund number 70. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bill number 4232, an ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal year 2018 budget relating to the general fund budget number 10, department number 16, police. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bill number 4233, an ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal year 2018 budget relating to the rural fire fund budget number 60. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill number 4234, an ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal year 2018 budget relating to the transportation budget number 21 and debt service fund number 50. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill number 4235, an ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal year 2018 budget relating to the Valley, Valley Springs TIF fund budget number 40 and the general fund number 10. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill number 4236, an ordinance to the City of St. Genevieve, Missouri, amending Chapter 706 Water, Section 
Pardon me? No, go ahead. I want to, uh, I want, I want, I want to describe this one to you. Fire hydrants, subsection D, the municipal code as set forth below. Okay, so our ordinance says that fire hydrants, the people can't plant anything that would obstruct access, the view of, or the operation of the fire hydrant, but it's not specific. And in one case, we had someone build a fence that didn't obstruct the view, didn't deny accessibility. But when you put our 18 inch wrench on top of it, the fence was too close mm -hmm. to make it around. So uh, the chief asked me to come up with an ordinance that would specify a clearance area so that they can <coughs> operate the fire hydrants. Even. They address that. Did you look at he, it? He Dr. fixed it. He did voluntarily. That, that's fine. What yeah. He did? Okay. As long as, as, long as long as they can make the turn, you know. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bill number 4237, an ordinance approving a bid proposal from Hofkamp, Wapapella, Missouri, for the pur purchase of uh, Amcus EF25 STD electronic power unit in the amount not to exceed $6,817. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we have no other business. Any that? communication? We didn't need any second readings on those to, just to make it. No, it, oh, that would be great. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll wait a week. <laughs> All righty. So I need a motion to uh, go into closed session. So moved. Second. We have a to roll discuss call? Real to discuss estate. real estate. So moved. So moved. Alderman Smith? Yes. Alderman Mooney? Yes. Alderman Donovan? Yes. Alderman Jokers? Yes. Alderman Jones? Yes. Alderman Stupy? Yes. Alderman Prince? Yes. Alderman Masika? Yes. Motion carries at 621.